Now here's a problem I have. My meter is pulsing. My charge controller is pulsing the batteries. And it's not even 5 o'clock in the afternoon. And the current is being limited, so that means that my batteries are topped off. Now, I'll take you outside and show you my problem. My cooler has to stay running just about continuously right now. I have it outdoors because it's cooler outside. Uh, today it was a bit cooler. It was supposed to be around 70, but it didn't get much above 60. But that's too warm for food. So what's happening is my cooler is draining my batteries by morning time. Uh, it was 12.1 volts when I got up this morning. I did the math and I discovered that this cooler is using 1,800 watts in a 24 hour period. Which means this is draining as much as I can put into my batteries right now. So, a whole day of charge is being emptied by this alone. And I didn't get a chance to do my construction like I wanted to today yet. But I definitely have to insulate this thing and get a thermostat on this right away. Well, here's the dark side of the property. The part I don't show you on camera every day. But the old man used to have take people's garbage and throw it out along the edge of the property which has become my shopping mall because here if I can get this apart is the puller I'm going to use to start my generator realize what a job it would be to get a full cord this motor's been sitting out there a while Color was too short for me, so I have to make one. At least I have myself a nice handle here. I think the Stellar Store rope will do the job. Should be just right. Actually, this is good post-apocalypse training. What you do is you put a knot in there, just like they originally had. Shove that all back together. I've got myself a starter cord. Cut this to the right length. Yeah, that way that won't be unraveling on me. Let's see if my new starter cable will work here. Should put it on in the end, I guess. I've often seen this where you find an engine with no puller 
and I just feed it on, roll it up tight. See, there's always a notch on here. Just feed it on and roll it up, and give it a pull. And that's when I'm going to hopefully start this engine. If I can get that to pull fast enough. Well, oh, there's a broken motor mount. That's a bad thing. I think the float's too high. I have gas coming out when I pull the starter. Well, here's my junkyard of motor parts and tools. I, uh, I have a problem with this. One, my toolbox is in my car. So I'm having a hard time getting the fuel bowl off of this. And the other thing is I discovered the gasket's missing. So when I looked down through here and I was trying to pull the nut off the bottom of this, without the proper tool by the way, I saw daylight through across here where the gasket supposed to be. So that it puts a delay on things for this. This is an old Toro. I'll have to look online and see what it costs to get a carb kit for this. And uh, It's always something. It's a problem when dealing with old motors and old junk is there's always something. That's why you get them cheap from somebody in bulk, like I did. So, I just hope the sun keeps shining for a while, because I won't have a generator for a while. Not this one, at least. Let me keep looking through them. See what I can do. Well, I've got my my cooler here. I am going to shut it off. It's 50 degrees out right now and dropping. Actually, it's a very chill 50 degrees, so I think it's damp. So I'm going to unplug my cooler for the night. Just pulling the plug out and try to save some battery power because I keep killing my batteries at night and don't have uh, any power for anything else. So, 400 amp hours of batteries can only power one thermal electric cooler for 24 hours. And that's the real deal. So I'm learning a lot out here about off-grid life and about the real deal about batteries and solar panels and capacities. I just got a very heavy package from David. He already sent me a box of some stuff before. It was all some good stuff too. Let's see what we got here. Good stuff. Well, this is all useful for off-grid living. Wow. What's this? Velcro fastener. Whole box of Velcro. Twist ties. I go through a ton of these. Oh, wow. Look at that. Distribution block. With a heavy wire on it. That's good stuff. Oh, my lamp is glitching on me here. Wire. That's something else that goes through heavily here. Thank you. Oh, wow. There's another heavy gauge wire. Good stuff. And this is good. I need to start protecting my wires better. Solder. Something else I go through a lot of. This is going to come in handy. Thank you, Dave. There's a whole set of fuses. Something else I definitely need to start using more of. What's this? Oh, a pressure gauge. Hmm. I wonder if I can rig that into my uh, heating system or something somehow.
Oh, nice. There's a relay with a socket and a lot of wire. That's nice. I think I'm going to use this out of my solar panels for my um, cloudy, sunny days. That's going to be a nice, useful thing. Is there something else? Wow, Dave, I think you're watching my videos because this is all useful stuff. Electrical tape, I go through a lot of that. And what's this? Oh, an old voltmeter. Let me see, we've got AC, DC. This is out of an old, an old uh, multimeter. And what do we have here? Another old meter from an old multimeter. I have to see if I can rig these up. Oh wow, a box full of stuff. We got, oh good, rectifier diodes. Good stuff, good stuff. Oh, 7805. That was funny, that goes with the meter that uh, I got from you, Dave. Capacitors. 555, good dual all-purpose timer. A 556, dual timer. Perf boards. Another perf board. And a uh, box for project. Well, that's good do-it-yourself world stuff. When I get my uh, workshop set back up, this is all good stuff for doing my electronics and hobby projects again. This is good stuff. Uh, quick set epoxy. That's good for emergency repairs. I just had to fix my brake line in my truck. I used something like that just to limp home on. No, that's silicone sealant. That's for good repairs for my water lines. Well, that's a mess of stuff. Thank you, Dave. Thank you again very much for a lot of very useful stuff. And this is all good stuff. I definitely think you uh, are paying attention. Thank you, Dave. Hi, this is Troy from the Off Grid Project and the Do It Yourself World. I am, um, it's, what is it, just after 8 o'clock at night? I'm hugging a cup of coffee. Uh, it's colder again. It wasn't too bad. I think it was uh, It was supposed to be mid-60s, but I don't think it got much over 50 today. And my stuff in my thermal electric cooler froze solid. My, uh, my cream came out in a sludge when I made my coffee, so I unplugged the cooler for the night. Um, that's the problem with thermal electric coolers. It's always on. There's no regulation. I seriously have to get my electronics unpacked, get my workshop organized, and start working on a thermostat for that cool box so I stop freezing my foods or letting it get too warm. I need it regulated. Um, another thing is I'm draining my batteries badly. Leaving that cooler on 24-7 when it's warm out, I keep draining the batteries down. Just that cooler drains my, all my capacity. It uses, uh, I mentioned earlier, it uses 1,800 watts, and that's a lot of power. That's about all my panels can put out in real usable power in a day. So, I um, just want to let you all know why I'm so late tonight. By the time I get the video processed and online, uh, it'll be a little bit later tonight. But the reason is I had a job interview today. Um... It's not much, it's just going to be five hours a week, but the good news, I'm going to pay my rent. Uh, right now, I have to be, I have to thank my mom. Uh, at my age, it's sort of embarrassing, but thank you, mom. Without you, I wouldn't even have this. I, uh, I don't know where I'd be. So I have to say thank you for bailing me out in the last couple months during the hard times. But... Starting Thursday next week, every Thursday, I'm going to do five hours a week, which is going to pay my bills, and I won't have to worry. At least that'll be covered, at least the bare minimum. All my bills will be paid, and I will have so much less stress. So, uh, things are moving up. It's looking much better now. 
and um, I'm going to show you in a minute here. I uh, met another fellow YouTuber tonight who brought me a really incredible surprise. And it's, I'm going to take you over to that in a minute here. It is amazing. And I just got home. So, yeah, forgive me for being so late, but, you know, sometimes you're running the roads, sometimes you're working. Uh, you know, it's, this is real life. And uh, living off the grid is work. And you have to pay the bills, too. Well, I cannot believe the kindness of people out there in the world. This was a total surprise. I got a phone call the other night from Neil from YouTube. Uh, he lives nearby. And he said he had the meter for my new charge controller and I'm sitting here trying to figure out how to rig up gauges and meters and and hack things together here and piece things together and he went out and got me the real meter that goes to my TriStar charge controller and I just can't believe that he would go through this and do this for me thank you you know, when I, when I started the off-grid project, I had no idea the support I'd get. No idea the care and concern from you guys. I want to thank you all.